Now that we have Kodi installed with the VS Code extension, let's take a look at some of the features that Kodi can give us. The first feature we're going to look at is autocomplete. And this is going to happen as you type. Kodi will go ahead and look at the code you're writing and, and suggest a way to write the rest of your code. So let me say const colors is equal to, and Kodi will try to give me an object here. Let's say I don't really want the object. I'm going to start typing an array. And there we go. We start getting some autocomplete suggestions. Now I can press tab to accept those suggestions. And then I can keep coding, keep going along my day. Or I can actually type a little bit more. So the more you suggest to Cody, the more it can autocomplete exactly what you want. So I'll keep pressing Enter here. And it just keeps going. So I'll just stop right around there. So that's one way to use autocomplete. Another is as I start writing out functions, Cody will know that I'm writing out a function. And if I name it a certain way, it will help autocomplete that. So I'll say function randomize colors. And there we go. It autocompletes the full function multi line for randomizing the colors. So you'll see autocomplete as you type anywhere in your code base in any of these files. As you type, Cody will start to learn what you're trying to write and help you by suggesting some of these things. All right, that's autocomplete. The next way we can use Cody is by chatting with Cody. So we can use our code base, ask Cody questions about our code base, and get answers and recommended code. Let me open up a hero component, hero.tsx. And in this file, let's say I'm new to the code base. There's all of these props that I can use. Uh, I don't really know what's going on here because I'm brand new to the repo. I'm just going to go here, this const hero function component. All right, let's chat with Cody and see how we can use this hero component. There's a couple different ways to create a chat, and that's by design. You can choose whatever way to access Cody is easiest for you. There's the VS Code. Cody extension icon here, and there's all your commands for chat, document, edit, explain, and smell, and test, and generating custom commands. There's this Cody icon on the top right here, where it'll pop up the menu, and then you can ask questions from here. And this is my preferred way to ask Cody questions, but I don't like to click that button in the top right. I actually like using the keyboard shortcut for Alt-C, or Option-C on Mac. And then I'll use the commands here. I'll go to ask and I'll press enter and I'll say, how do I use this hero component? And I'll go ahead, open the hero component. Uh, it pulled in the context from this file. And there we go. It just said, hey, here are the props that you want to use. Variant, product, title, title, class name, back button, left column, all that good stuff. It says the variant can be primary, secondary, or dark. Very helpful. So all I need to do to use this is just copy both of these lines and go paste it in whatever component. I find myself asking questions to Cody a lot. The more you ask Cody things, the more you start to work Cody into your workflow. So just start thinking about what you would ask. And if you ask yourself a question, a good bet is that Cody can help you answer that question. All right, so that's autocomplete, that's chat and commands. And the last one I want to talk about is natural language search. Let's say I'm looking for a certain piece of code in VS Code. I'm going to open up the search panel here. And I'm going to say get slug. I think that's what the function is that I'm looking for, get slug, um, slug, which is definitely not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a function where I know I wrote it, to go get some slugs. All right, so that's not helping me out. What we can do here is go into the Kodi extension, and you have your commands, you have chats, and then you also have natural language search. So you can just search as if you were just typing it out. So I'm going to say get slug. And just like that, Kodi can help look through your code base and say, hey, this is export interface slug. Are you looking for that? No, not that. Oh, get all slugs. That's the function that I wanted. And this is in source lib. 
yeah, that's the function I wanted. There's also the interface for slug under source scripts. So let me click here and it highlighted the whole thing. Get all slugs. There you go. That's the function I wanted. So if the search panel in VS Code isn't doing the job for you, try out Cody's natural language search. All right, those are three things I like to talk about when starting with Cody. We have autocomplete, which you'll see on your daily basis, chat, which I would recommend you work into your workflow, and natural language search. So hopefully all three of those put together helps you become a more productive developer.